Okay, guys. So I'm just recording a small video on what I wrote on the group. So I'm going to put on parts here. It will make it easier to understand. So first up, we look at the Nifty Small Cap Index. So on absolute basis, when we look at it, all is good, all is hunky dory, because we have broken out above the 2018 highs and still sustaining above it. That is on a standalone basis. However, standalone basis, I do not believe gives a very clear picture. So we will look at the ratio chart. Now, when we compare the small cap index with the Nifty 50, so this is measuring the relative strength of the small cap index against Nifty. Here, if we look at the long term chart, we pull up the monthly chart, we can see that right here, you know, this, this, this line here has been an important zone. So we have broken out, we had broken out above it, but it proved to be a false breakout and we have rapidly come down below it again. And right now still trading below it. So if you look at the ratio chart, so standalone index, small cap index is giving a hunky dory picture that we are trading at all time highs and there's a breakout. But on the relative strength chart of the same, we are finding that the breakout has failed and it is uh, broken down below the support. And even if we look at the moving average, it is uh, the daily moving average. Uh, sorry, the this is the weekly one. We look at the daily moving average. It is trading below the short term moving averages, this ratio chart. So this is one indication that small caps are right now not in favor. The other parameter that we can look at is the mid cap index compared with the wider basket of nifty 500 stocks so if we look at this so we can see on the weekly chart that there is a trend line resistance where we have taken resistance on this ratio chart and if we come down to the daily chart, we can see that there is kind of a possible head and shoulder pattern developing on it. It is not yet complete. And if, uh, once the pattern completes, it needs to break down below this line. That has not yet happened, but it seems to be forming. What will change the view? It will. The view will change if we break above this trend line resistance, which is on the weekly long term chart. There is a trend line resistance. If we break above this, that will change the view on the broader market. So this is about the broader market and why I think mid caps and small caps will underperform from here. Now coming to the uh, IT index. So if we look at CNX IT, again, all looks hunky dory on an absolute basis. If you look at the CNX IT chart on an absolute basis, everything is hunky dory trading at all time highs, everything green. So it would seem that I, CNX IT is a performer still and going to perform. So while I have been very bullish on IT for a very long time, now what is of concern is that while the absolute chart is giving a hunky dory picture, when we look at the relative strength chart, that is the ratio chart of Nifty IT with Nifty 50, then that is not trading at all time highs. So there is a divergence that we are seeing where the absolute index is trading at all time highs, but the ratio chart against Nifty is not at all time highs. This is indicating that the relative strength of IT vis-a-vis -vis Nifty is starting to decline. Now we are in a declining phase of, of this chart, of the ratio chart. So this is a subtle shift which is happening. The other point which uh, is further affirming my belief that now IT story is done. So common perception is that when IT goes up, banks don't perform and when banks go up, IT doesn't perform. So there is a indirect correlation between the two and the correlation is pretty clear. So when we have correlation between two sectors, it's okay to take a ratio chart between the two. So if I take the bank nifty chart and I compare it with the IT index, this is the ratio chart of bank nifty against the IT index. Okay. And we look at the monthly picture. It's a long term chart. Now here you will find something very interesting. You see, we are currently here. <coughs> this is this 
this support line is a line which has not been breached ever since 2007. Since 2007, this ratio chart of Bank Nifty to the IT index has never breached this support zone. So this is a very strong support, support zone and we are almost there now. So it is likely now that whenever market again starts performing, whenever Nifty or if, or, if, or if Nifty continues to perform, market continues to goes up, now Bank Nifty will come to the fore and IT will take a back seat because we had such a strong support which has not been breached since April of 2007. Now, the thing is, this is a structural shift. If IT is going to underperform and banks are going to outperform, and that is on the long-term chart now, then usually speaking, it does not happen as a continuation. What would happen, right? what is more likely to happen is that there would be some kind of a churn in market, there would be some kind of a correction in market before this kind of a scenario plays out. So that is also one reason why I feel that we might be in for some correction in markets maybe over the next couple of months. This is not a short term immediate view. Yes, in short term, we can very well go to 17,800 or maybe even 18,000. But over the next couple of months, I expect a correction, a, a decent correction to set in post which this scenario should play out where IT underperforms and bank outperforms. So this is what I'm getting from the bank nifty to IT ratio chart. Now coming to bank nifty itself, if we compare the bank nifty chart to the nifty chart, and we come down to the daily time frame, we all know that banks have not been outperforming. That is shown so clearly on this ratio chart where you can see this underperformance in banks, right? This is a distribution pattern that we are having in the ratio chart of bank nifty to nifty. And there is a clear breakdown. There's a head and shoulder breakdown on this ratio chart. So this is also indicating that in the near term, the bank nifty underperformance is likely to continue. So they can, I, I, I'm uh, assuming that there would be a question that why not banks take the lead now itself and lead the Nifty higher. This is the reason why. Bank Nifty is not showing any signs of outperformance as of now. So it would seem that Nifty needs to correct, market needs to see a correction before Bank Nifty can come into a scenario of outperformance. And that will be well known to us because once we negate this head and shoulder, uh, then we will know that Bank Nifty has started outperforming and that is when we would like to buy banks and amongst the banks <coughs> access bank chart is very interesting if you look at the ratio chart of access bank to bank nifty we can see that there is a trend line resistance we have broken above it so access bank looks strong and even if we consider the moving averages, it's, it's trading well above all the moving averages on the ratio chart. And even looking at the standalone price chart of Access Bank, we can see that there's a weekly trend line resistance. We have broken above it already. Now there is a resistance of all time highs around 830. So it's only a matter of time that it should be taken out. So whenever Bank Nifty starts performing, Bank Nifty starts its outperformance. Axis Bank is a stock I would definitely want to buy. The other one is ICICI Bank. Again, very strong chart on the ratio chart. You can see it's trading above all the moving averages. There seems to be a flag breakout pattern in the making when compared with Bank Nifty. So these are the two bank stocks which should outperform whenever Bank Nifty starts performing. The other bank stocks like HDFC Bank, Kotak Bank, etc., State Bank also, they are not having such strong charts when compared with Bank Nifty on the ratio chart because all of them are trading far lower, more like near the 200 day moving average, near this orange line, or near the 100 day moving average, which is this pink line. So, Axis and ICICI Bank, I expect, will uh, lead the rally whenever the Bank Nifty starts performing. Now, so my uh, view seems to be that. Maybe for the next month or month and a half, two months, 
Nifty can stay strong while the rest of the market doesn't perform, especially mid caps and uh, small caps uh, probably have a fall. And also bank Nifty probably might not perform. So what will keep Nifty afloat? What will keep Nifty afloat is Reliance Industries in my view. The reason for that view is we can see on the Reliance Industries chart, we had made an all time high of 23.72 in September of 2020. After that, for nearly a year, Reliance has done nothing. It was underperforming. While Nifty was going up, the broader market was going up. Now, finally, we have had a breakout above that all time high level after a period of one year. So this gives us a target of 2,900 and in Reliance Industries. And considering that the consolidation was for one year, uh, we can expect this target of 2900 in Alliance Industries to come in a period of three months, which is one third the time it took for the stock to consolidate and form this pattern. So if Alliance Industries has to move up almost 20% within a period of three months, it would clearly seem to indicate that Reliance is what will keep Nifty afloat while the rest of the market underperforms. And post that, we are likely to have a a decent correction uh, in Nifty itself and in the overall market. And in the next leg, when Nifty starts outperforming again, because the long term bull market remains intact, uh, then we are likely to see that Bank Nifty is the sector that leads the market. But that confirmation has to come on the chart with Bank Nifty showing outperformance. So, this is in summary what. Uh, uh, I can see on the charts right now. If things change, I will be happy to update. Thank you.